Paul. It's, uh, it's been a while since we've gotten the chance to talk to you, but um, what can you say about the guy next to you and the way that he's been playing recently, kind of uplifting you guys? The number speaks for itself. That's all I got to say, man. Tyreek, 18 rebounds each of the last three games. I know you've said you want to enjoy as much time as you can with your teammates at this point, but can you talk a little bit about your mentality and going in and going for those rebounds? I mean, that's, those are monster numbers. Um, like I said, uh, we got this thing going on in the locker room right now, and it's called unbreakable. Uh, never get too high in the moment, never get too low in the moment. Just stay in the moment. And um, I, if I get 18 rebounds, if I get 10 rebounds, I'm going to be happy with my effort just knowing that I gave it all, or I left it all out there. Uh, Paul, this is the first game I believe you guys were trailing at the half and came back and won. What does that say about your team as you've kind of evolved this season to be able to do that when you hadn't been able to do it necessarily before? Um, we just taken every possession serious, you know. Um, like you said, unbreakable. I mean, nothing can break our bond out there on the court. So we go out there with a the, uh, mindset that they can't, and that's what we do. We execute. Paul, there was a, a big sequence there. I think there was around nine minutes left. You guys were down 50 to 47. Um, I think Jason came up with a, a steal or a rebound. He got it to you in transition. You came right down, pulled up for three in transition. And that was kind of, that seemed like it was kind of the spark down the stretch that got you guys going. Do you remember that, that play, that sequence? Can you talk us through that? Um, it really wasn't, you know, I was just trying to do the best thing to get our uh, team ahead or even, uh, even out the score. So is it, if that's me taking the three in transition, then I'll do it. And, you know, this game was very much back and forth. You know, I think that until the end, the largest lead was six by you guys, four by them. When you're battling like that and it is back and forth, was the expectation that, that this was going to be the result, that you guys were going to figure this out and get it done? Yes, that was the expectation and never quit, you know, just keep fighting. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we have wars, and so uh, the person who wins the most wars wins the game. So, Tyreek, where did Unbreakable come from? Did someone come up with it, or was it a coach thing? You're looking at him. I came up with it. <laughs> Say, no, nah, um, I, I heard something. Uh, I won't discuss what I heard, but I just I just want, like, this team just, we've been through a lot. We've been through losing streaks. Um, me and him, we've been through losing streaks last year. We know what it takes to, to win. And, um, we know we just never want to get too high in the moment and just, just stay in the moment, like I said, and, and just remain unbreakable. We, we go on the road. We're going to face adversity. Every team's going to go on their run. We're going to go on our run, but just never stay, never get too high in the moment. Just stay in it and, and remain unbreakable. Paul, what does it mean to this team to have kind of that passionate power from Tyreek and for him to be putting it all on the line like that? You know, it means a lot. I mean, he's the spark. He gets us going. So when we see Tyreek like that, then we already know that the train is on the railroad track, ready to go. At what point did, did this unbreakable thing become a thing? Are y'all going to make this a thing? Like, y'all going to keep asking questions? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do. See, y'all about to start asking questions. This is the last question we're taking. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> no, I just, <clears throat> I think um, after after the Marquette game, it was a tough game for all of us. Um, and I, I sent out a text to the to the team just that I just letting them know that I'm, I'm here with you guys. We, we all going through it. Um, and just... I don't know. <laughs> just... Well, I, I I am curious about it, but at what point did you know that like that this was working, that this uh, new unbreakable thing had kind of resonated with the rest of the guys? I think it. I, I, although we lost the Marquette game, I think we we seen spurts and we seen bright spots in that game that we could really battle with any team in in this conference. We could battle any team in the country as long as we just remain unbreakable. We've seen previous games or games in the past we. We kind of splintered and went our separate ways. Coach pointed that out to us in film, and just now we're just trying to remain as tight as possible. For the both of you guys, um, this was one of your better <laughs> offensive transition games. You guys moved pretty well from defense to offense. Was that just the main focus for the competition, or is that something you guys are just getting better on game by game? We do that every day in practice. So if we could get out and transition, we would run. Um, and that's just it. It's nothing. It's not a point of emphasis in the game. Thank you. Thank you.